inside corner. Felipe Toledo fell on his first ride, but now trying to make up for it. Strider looking sharp at the moment. Wow, are you kidding me? This wind has switched offshore, making these rights really high performance. Beautiful snaps off the top. Goes for the reverse, slips right through that. Beautiful technique, very light on his feet at the moment. Another quick hit off the top. They say he's gonna line up for the barrel. Let's see what he does. Holding the wall, beautiful deep tube right just next to the foam ball coming out into the lip. Goes Ooh. for the club sandwich and nail. Felipe Toledo up on right number two. He had a 7.7 .7 on his first left. And just electricity, Pete, on the opening turns of this ride. And straight into the barrel, and now get some more work done. Let's see some tail-free surfing from Felipe. We know he has it. He went to the upper end of the scale on his right-hand efforts earlier on in the event, throwing some risk at us, drifting the tail there. No time in recovery, climbing back up into the pocket oh. and absolutely unloading on that section. Now kicks on the tail, looking to get particularly deep here. Dancing with that falling lip, locks in, rolling through this one, has room to move, throws the alley oh, and it. absolutely... I was wondering if he might take it easy, because he's already qualified for a bonus. But when it all counts, might as well get the score now. Felipe Toledo looking for more on the right. Looks like he might just be coasting through the sections out the back. Now pulling into the barrel. Starting to travel. Still seeing his hand there. That front foot almost doing a cheater five. Comes out of the tube, nice clean snap off the top. Such a clean motion off the bottom and off that big section now carving through. Nice patience for this inside pit. Look at the stance. Left foot all the way on the tip. Punches out the reverse without a problem. And acting so casual from start to finish. Amazing consistency from Owen Wright. As you're all watching on Fox Sports, Felipe Toledo in motion. The guy with a shot to take out an event win. It's up to Felipe. Now to try to take the lead off Medina. Going for the reverse early. This time he gets it. He's had a couple of tries at that maneuver. Way out the back. Committed to it. And still belting the lip. Steps on the top of the roof of that float. All passion. Pop shove it. Comes out of it. Switch. And now adjusting goofy foot. Can he get Barrel Toledo trying to do the impossible? Oh. To bend out after those first two runs, solid stuff. But Felipe Toledo's got the opportunity here to make a statement on the forehand. Hasn't made much of those first two lefts, but like you said, Barton, the signs are there, looking so positive on his feet. 100%, and on this wave in particular too. Three great turns before the tube. Love it, sets it up. Both hands on the face of the wave, very comfortable in the tube, doesn't want to get mixed up with the lip this time. So keeping nice and low through this one. <laughs> very deep at the moment, he's going to find his way through. Up onto the open face. Dynamic opening carve straight into the lip. And really recovering well after a little hiccup on that second turn. But Felipe loading up through the inside. Here comes the alley-oop, it's a huge oh! one! He's going to stick it, finds that transition. Oh! These last couple of sections. We'll see what he's got here. Toledo on this right. A lot of spark in that first maneuver. Tends to position himself a little deeper than the rest of the field at the opening stage of the wave. It allows a couple more turns. It allows him to lay down tracks like that. Beautiful carve to set up this barrel. Getting nice and right near the end of his board. Almost hanging five here. And he is stalling. 
Just using both those hands. The front arm's not really digging into the water, but just helping him keep that position on the open face. Kicks the tail there after the beautiful barrel ride again. Gets those fins free above the limb. Nice combination through the midsection of the ride. Now looking to set up the inside again. Gets that foot way forward. And well positioned in the pit. Gets it back, getting ready to go to the air now. Throws the reverse. He rides on out. And that's the best finish we've seen. So it's, but this certainly is right-handers. This size of wave suit him down to the ground. So explosive. Even in transition, this guy really puts it on the line. And he's going to throw everything into this section. Nice reverse straight into another hawking turn to set up the barrel. And he tucks in, looking pretty comfortable. Wants to be very careful. Not to slip up now, so keeps that foot in a more regular position. Remember on his first wave, letting the front foot drift forward. And having a bit of fun with it now. Throws an alley -oop. That's two airs already. And he's only halfway down the line. Has more room to grow as he hammers away at this one. Now looking to line something up big on the inside. Finds a bit of cover. Wants the end section though. Throws the alley. He's got a Three aerials, one wave. And a big tail slide to finish. He's not done yet. Watched him get to the rhythm here, picks up these rhythm, gets going. We know he has the backside whip. Let's see if he can pull it out. Well, serving with a lot of speed, as always. You know, this wave always moves at the same pace, Pete, but some competitors are just so much swifter in transition, it looks like the wave's going a lot faster than it is sometimes. He's been riding EPS, both on the right and the left. Marcio Zuvi. Sharp by surfboard to see if he can do it right here on the inside section. Marcio Suvi's here watching Felipe compete. And he's hammering away at this inside track. Just getting nice and deep oh, here. Goes to Labour. Great style. Oh. Just a different interpretation. Goes for the big... Do you like that? Well, if so, subscribe over there and then watch more videos over there. And then tell us your favourite videos down there. It's a three-step process. Do them all now.